What is up guys? It's your boy Paul here coming at you with another video today. Uh, look, today I just simply want to talk to you about one simple concept and I brought it up last night and I didn't realize it was a thing uh, until I was reading today. Um, and you know, so one thing that I said last night when uh, I was back at my parents' house, kind of just visiting, celebrating our birthdays and whatnot, um, I was recording the video late at night and I was saying, um, one thing I think you should never do is uh, change the original goal that you had in mind. Instead, change your focus on uh, how can I, do, you know, earn a certain amount of dollars today, or whatever you know the case may be. If it was physical, if whatever the case may be, don't change the goal. Instead, change your focus. What can I do today that can produce results? Instead of oh wow, I'm so far away from my goal. I want to change the goal because it just doesn't seem attainable now. And so that's what I said last night, kind of just in talking. Um, but today, as I was reading um, in Grant Cardone's book, The, the 10X Rule, I'm sure many of you guys have heard of it, um, just started it. And um, he, said, he said, never ever change the goal. If you change the goal, you're, ra you're rationalizing why you can't hit it. Instead, change the amount of actions necessary to achieve it. So never ever change what you originally desired. Instead, change the amount of actions necessary to take it. And pretty much the process that he was describing was that every single one of us uh, way underestimate how much actual like steps, action it's gonna take to hit a goal, right? And I was like, okay, that actually kind of makes sense. Like for the things that you're far away on, uh, you thought you would be able to do it in you know, five steps, well, it may take 15 or 20, right? But instead of saying, hey, instead of doing 15 or 20 steps, you're just like, mm, I'm gonna have the goal. I'm gonna have the goal. Um, and something that, like the reason why I said that last night uh, when I was talking about um, never change like your original goal, uh, is because, and I heard this, I heard this before too, and it was your, your, like how big you think is a glimpse of your potential. So if you're thinking, Hey, I can make, you know, a uh, million dollars this year. It's a glimpse of your potential compared to the person who goes, I think I can only make, you know, six figures, but to them that's huge. It's a glimpse of your potential. How big you think it's a glimpse of your potential. And so you would never want to diminish that, which is why I said that in last night's video when I was talking about. Um, never diminish your goal. And so it just made sense as I was, you know, reading a little bit tonight of, okay, this makes sense. Let's not diminish the original goal that we had because we had that original goal in the first place. And for example, get rid of the monetary goal that I just mentioned. Let's say that you want a more phenomenal relationship with your kid, your, your wife, your husband, whatever it is, you want a more phenomenal relationship with blank, fill in the blank for whatever that blank is. And you're just like, dude, it's just not working out. Well, maybe you underestimated the amount of effort and time it would take to make it work out and make it phenomenal. Maybe, maybe that's what you did because originally, if you had that goal in mind saying you wanted a better relationship with such and such person, you desired that, like that's a good thing, like better relationships are an awesome thing. But when you are saying, hey, I would rather have not good a relationship because I don't want to change the effort that I'm putting in. Well, I don't see that as that uh, worthy. <laughs> I don't. I mean, simply put, because any like whenever you make your goals properly, or whenever you you know set your dreams on whatever you want to set them on. Again, you had those original inspirations. You had those original thoughts for a reason. You were meant to do those things. Those things were good things. So never half, never cut your original goal. It's okay when uh, the time is up and you don't hit it. That is okay. That allows time for reflection, time for improvement. Not every single goal gets hit. Do we desire every single goal to be hit? Of course we do. But you should never halfway through just say, mm, no worries, I'm uh, gonna cut this goal in half so that I can make it better. Look, I'm gonna, you know, it's coming up, we're two months away from pretty much the end of the year, 
and I'll be able to look over all my goals and say, okay, great, I killed these, oh, I did awful here, hey, I did good here, hey, I did moderate here. And that's when I can ask myself why. That's when I can reevaluate if I need to reevaluate. That's when I can see where did my time go this year? Oh, it went here, oh, it went here, okay, great. But look, while you're still in the fight, don't cut the goal, okay? Don't cut the goal. Instead, while we still are in the midst of achieving it and while we're still in the process of completing the goal, focus on your actionable steps and ask yourself if you're willing to sacrifice and be willing to sacrifice. Again, you made admirable goals, okay? So instead of, you know, resting for like five, 10 hours, whatever, taking a day off, you know, watching the game when you don't need to watch the game, eating chips when you don't need to eat the chips, uh, being alone when you don't need to be alone, whatever the case may be for whatever your particular goal, change it. Be willing to be uncomfortable, okay? So look, that is today's message, guys. Don't ever cut the goal. Instead, increase your uh, action that you thought you needed to achieve the goal, okay? So if that helped, leave it down in the comments below. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Of course, if you know somebody who could use this video as well, uh, feel free to share it with them. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.